Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, I decided to do something that I haven't done in a long time um, that um, I decided I wanted to share with you guys. And um, this is something, this is something that I learned a long, long time ago. And I'm going to do it for us today. And I've already actually come up with a few ideas of how to expand on this. And I kind of like, because I've already called in our spiritual counselors. Um, I've already called in spiritual counselors for other people. And I'm going to show you all what I got here. I had to do a little work on this. So I hope it's appreciated. But I, I used to, I, I learned something a long time ago of of how to pull major arcane. Well, you, they usually don't use major arcane. They usually use the whole deck. But, and I got things falling over now. Um, <laughs> so, and I, um, I, I. Uh, I, I wanted to do it the way I changed it up to work for me. So I'm hoping that this will resonate and work for some of you. So guys, what I've done is I have done a, don't be overwhelmed guys, because I used to do this for myself every year. I would do a year's reading um, from uh, January through December. Um, and I would pick a significator card and uh, this and um uh, and then I would do the reading around it for each month of the year for the main energies. But this time when I pulled them, I wanted to see what was on the bottom. And on the bottom, I had the chariot. And I right away knew what that meant. So, guys, I had to do a little work on this. So, you see, we start off with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay? For the significator, because... MJ's deck is unique, which she has this high raising consciousness card. So I said, "Oh goody, I'll use this for the for the um, for the main energy to represent the collective." And this is ways that you grow, ways that your soul grows, what you learn, uh, everything that goes on within a year of your life, going into the future. Okay, so and then when I when I when I shuffled the deck. I looked on the bottom and I had the chariot and right away I said, oh, okay. So the chariot in this instance is representing things that sidetrack you, waylay you, um, uh, where people, places, things, jobs, other things stop in, in and stop you or give you a break somewhere along the way um, with conflicting emotions, conflicting situations. Um, what stops you on your path of destiny? And because he, because the guys, I always tell you on this, this, I always see this as a path of destiny card and going your own way. Okay. And times that, that, that because this is also going to represent, um, represent you. Okay. For whoever this is going to resonate. Now guys, I looked at this as a collective reading. So this is main energies for the upcoming year, starting with November, because I'm not going to start in January. I'm going to start in November and and what, what will stop you and halt you along your way, okay? And they're just main energies, so it may not resonate for everybody. On the other hand, some of these, as the months go by, and I would suggest if y'all want, for those of you that, that check in with my channel every day, I would suggest saving this one and as the months go by, seeing how it resonates with you. Because, you know, there's a lot of different aspects to a lot of different situations. And I have found in my life, because we all go through the same things at one time or another, that... I can pull a card and find that a different aspect of it affected my life that 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 month, even if it wasn't um, um, exactly that thing that the card talks about. It would be like another aspect of it because guys, you know, three people can go through a similar situation and they come away each one of them having learned something different, learned more about themselves, learned where they're weak, learned where they're strong, where they could have improved. Uh, some people. Could have learned and done a lot and changed a lot, but didn't do a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? There's different aspects from the, the least negative to the most positive and vice versa. So, <clears throat> guys, I absolutely love this reading. I'm looking at it. And the only reason why I put the, the little, the little in my handwriting sucks, guys. I put the little months on there was so that y'all could follow along with me and know what I'm talking about. Because you lay these cards out a certain way, and that's a secret. I'm not going to tell y'all how you do it, but... Um, this is, I really, I really think this looks like an amazing year coming up and I can already see the story that it's telling me. Guys, I don't know if I'm ever going to get rid of these damn cigarettes. All right, so this is what we have. 
because this is October, okay, and November's on our, just getting on the heels of it, I'm going to start off with the very next month, which would be November of this year. So we're talking about from November of this year, going all the way around the sun till we get to October of next year, okay? And this is for the collective and things, the major energies of the months and what may stop you or, because this is crossing, guys, what either will stop you, halt you, or even, and you can always turn those energies around, guys, or what will help you further along your path, okay? So what we're going to start with, when I pulled the cards out and laid them out, we've got, for next month, we've got the full. And guys, y'all, been see we've been seeing the full quite a bit in some of my readings where people are ditching the past, walking through... Uh, the, what I call the gate of Thurias, of letting go things, deciding you want to do what's better for you, um, even if you're scared shitless, and deciding you're going to go ahead and you're going to come up with a new goal for yourself, or and you're going to, um, and also guys, because we got, for this month, because I've got the hyper, and I always see her as like a lawyer type of person, I feel like so here, for this month, something's ending, okay, um, and somebody, and of course, because, we, because now here we have for November, she's starting out on a new path, right? Okay, so something's brewing for you that is that is the main energy for for next month is the things brewing that are um, going to start a new cycle for a lot of people. Okay, as we go into December, we have the Hierophant. Some of you may um, because of having a spiritual awakening, they're telling me, or um, having some kind of a major change that you now see the world in a different way. You may decide you need some guidance on some ideas and things that you want to do that you decide to go find outside counsel. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a clergy person, but somebody that knows more than you do, um, somebody you know is more spiritual than you, somebody that has more wisdom and knowledge about a subject matter that you don't know about, like maybe you're wanting to, you know, um, study something and you have, you know, you're trying to make up your mind about two choices that you want to make and you decide to go ask for some guidance. So December looks like to me it's going to be a time of some people finding guidance for their lives. Um, and we're either single people, families, um, businesses, whatever of seeking outside advice for something that you want to do or something you want to get rid of. It can be either or, guys, because everything has a positive and a negative. And then come January, I feel like some people are going to be choosing between something they want to do, something the family members want to do or the collective wants to do, and they're trying to figure out because she's got and she's got a spear of destiny in her hand, so so she, you're something to do with a, a lot more thinking, and trying to figure out what's going to bring the most balance and harmony to the decision making, and guys, I still feel like also this can they, they're also we're telling me that maybe you are having some things where you work or go to school or in your family where maybe there's um. A power struggle going on and you're trying to maintain equilibrium between different family members different people at work and guys sometimes you just have to walk away from the power struggle okay and because instead of trying to you know keep everybody happy take yourself out of the equation and i recently did this myself i had a client that was told she could get three or four workers because everyone in her family needed somebody and she's like oh well i'm going to interview you and then i got these other people i'm going to interview and I looked at her and I'm thinking, okay, well, you don't need help that bad if you don't want to, not that I wanted her to make a decision on me, but she was telling me she had all these other interviews to do, you know, and I was like, okay. So I called my boss and I said, just take me out of the equation because there's so many people that need help, you know, that if she's got that many people coming in to, to, to see what kind of situation it is to look for a job, then maybe there's somebody that, you know, that I can start with today. And, you know, so I took myself out of that which, which it was fair for the lady to ask that, but I'm just saying, I just feel like somebody here in January is going to just needs to find somewhere balance and take themselves out of the game, so to speak. Okay. And then as we go into February, we have the magician. The magician is all the tools that you need. Um, making um, a decision for you or... Um, Being, um, maybe you decide 
in this where like maybe there's a, a time where you've got like I said back here you had some somebody somewhere or for the collective people are like trying to find some new information and trying to figure things out to me the magician is also like a strength card it's telling me that you will decide what's going to be best for you and you have all the tools to do it so maybe you need to work on your self-confidence okay so some people will be will figure out what they want to do and go for it okay it's just it's just the overall energy for that month other people may need to get get me even more advice whatever the case may be so that's just a month where some people or where the collective is going to um come to themselves in some way by hopefully looking at and saying well Maybe I just need to make up my own mind about, about what I want to do. Because then in March, we have temperance, which, guys, is, is you know, it's it's about finding balance, too, and harmony in your life or in their job. Like, I just heard somebody's going to quit their job. So somebody may quit their job for them that month and decide to find a job that makes them happier. Or maybe there's... um. Because this has to do with temperance, energies, and flow. I feel like somebody, just like back here where there's a struggle going on, some people are going to decide to take themselves out of situations because they don't feel like dealing with the power struggle or um, having an audience or the other the other people wanting an audience or something like that. Okay? And then in April, we have the devil card. Now, in this right here, I feel like in the devil card here, it's talking about this is a, this is a time where some people are going to have... Um, doubts, fears creep in, um, feeling like they have a lack of self-worth, um, letting their own bad habits get in the way, and maybe having to really think again about what you want to decide about your life. And only you knows what you want, what you can do with your life, right? So that's kind of like the main energy of that month is people having to figure out what it is they want that will make them happy, Okay. Because, and I realize, guys, it's never it's never just quite as easy as it looks, okay? And then in May, we have the death card. So, here it's telling me that a lot of people are going to walk away from anything that no longer serves them, because nothing's in black and white, and go head towards some new growth, okay? So, that's going to be a month, it feels like to me, in May of 2024, where a lot of people are going to want more meaning in their life. They're going to want um, things that matter more to them they're not going to want to be letting the petty things get to them bad habits um other people's pettiness and that again is right with this devil card too guys so a lot of you i feel like are going to um let go of things that at, around that time that you're going to decide even more so that you want more happiness in your life and then in june we have judgment call to a new life and i feel like a lot of people are going to be walking away from past places people things that no longer serve them that they want to desperately bring change to their lives now on no matter what kind of level that it is okay and then in july we have the strength card which is telling me that there's going to be a lot of success for a lot of people that decide they're done with all the things in the past that they felt like held them back, held them down, okay? They want to make new choices and better choices for themselves. And I think that feels like that's part of, again, of that slow-moving energy, guys, where where people in general are wanting to see a better world, a better life in more ways, because we're getting nearer to, the, to um, I forget, how, what is it, in the in, uh, 2040s, where Age of Aquarius comes about, okay? So I'm feeling like, collectively a lot of people on different levels are going through these kind of changes and in july of next year a lot of people are going to make up their minds and be strong about it they're going to want to do things on a personal level and even a bigger levels to bring more happiness to themselves but also to other people too but not in the way like on uh, in the past here where they were making it so that they were letting other people push their buttons instead of knowing their own minds. Do you, does that make sense? Okay. Because then we have making a choice in love. And I think a lot of people are going to be choosing more love-based things, love-based way of life. Rather is, you know, loving yourself more, loving your family more. And, you know, we, you know the pesky sister-in-law that comes over and says one stupid thing that gets you and your husband fighting, I'm hearing. Or, you know, you've got a... Um, the girl at work that comes in and just automatically starts talking negative and juicy gossip and all kind of crap about other people that keeps everybody on edge in the office. And 
you just decide, you know, when she comes up next time, you're just like, yeah, um, hey, whoa, stop, stop Mary Lou, Mary Jane, whoever, you know, Sue, Karen, whatever, Karen, there we go, there's a good one, because, girl, guys, my sister's name is Karen, <laughs> but going, hey, you know what, I don't really want to talk about the other people, I just want to do my job, okay, so, or somebody maybe even decides they want to get married, um, I mean, because, you know, the lover's card has to do with a choice in love. Okay, guys? So, but whatever it is, come September, we get the success card. We have, for September, and it's telling me that there's, the sun's going to be shining brighter. People are going to be um, happy with decisions they've made over the, over since November of this year, going into the future. There's, they're going to be happier about things that they've let go of. This feels like a reading of letting go, guys, of letting go. Even though the hangman's not here, it's feeling like people wanting to let go of the way things are. Or maybe you're coming to the realization, they're saying, I'm hearing this in my head, they're telling me, maybe you realize that the old way didn't work, it doesn't work anymore, and now you get more creative in finding something that does work for you, okay? You're now lighting up your own path and not letting other people's BS get in your way. You're having some soul growth. And I feel like that's going to be happening around September of next year for a lot of us. Okay? Because these are just main energies, guys. Take them how they resonate. They're not going to resonate the same for everybody. Everybody's going to get a different message out of this. Some of you are going to think of a certain person, place, thing um, that's going on in your life. And you're going you're gonna to see how in some months it's going to apply to you. Other months it might not. Or it might apply on a different level. Okay? Because this is a general reading for the collective, guys. Okay? And then in October, we get this high priestess again. And I feel like this is where some cycle comes to a complete end. Um, rather, it's one where, um, say, you were waiting for the will to get probated. It comes to an end. Okay, everybody gets their money. And now you start out on a new path again, see? Okay. Um, but um, some kind of a cycle is going to end. A lot of people are going to have made really some major changes. They're going to have a lot of soul growth. Okay. And I just feel like. The only thing that's going to stop people from not having this higher consciousness soul growth thing is by letting other people's agendas get in your way, okay? And guys, no matter how much we want to think that everybody around us is good-hearted, not everybody around us is good-hearted, okay? So, I mean, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's just going to happen. You know what I mean, guys? So... I mean, there's always going to be some people around you that do have some kind of a hidden agenda or someone that likes to say something stupid or say something snarky to sit back and watch everybody fight with each other. I actually had a friend tell me recently, uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, she said, you know, she says, we used to have a lady around here that would go and she would, um, she would, she would, she would always overhear conversations and then she would take it and twist it around and get this person mad at that person just so she could go sit down in front of her, her house and she could watch, watch all the fireworks, you know, watch all the people arguing and fighting. So, I mean, she would do something every day to make sure that there was some kind of a show for her to sit down. And she would literally, she said, sit down in a chair and watch it. Guys, when you have people like that in your life, <laughs> And obviously nobody liked this lady either. You know, those kind of people in your life, sometimes you can't do anything about them. Okay? But sometimes you can. You know, sometimes, um, hey, 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 you, you know, we'd really appreciate it if uh, you would just mind your own business. Some people don't like to be told that because they want to mind everybody's business. So, guys, just take it however it resonates for you. But this is for the upcoming year, starting next month. And I actually see a lot of growth here. I see people trying to do better for themselves, people having the soul growth. And guys, there's a lot of positive stuff here. New journey. You know, when you don't know, don't say finding help, you know, trying to weigh the odds and using the tools that you need to find balance and harmony. And then maybe having some of your faults or, pro or bad habits, something come up to bite you in the butt and you just decide by the next month it's, you're going to let it go. Okay? Being called to a new life, strength, making a new choice and having success and the cycle ends. So guys, this is the message and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And... You know, maybe keep a little journal because these are main energies for the months coming up, okay? I'll probably do this again and pull runes on it, but I didn't want to make it, um, I didn't want to make it a 40-minute message again, guys, because I actually started pulling runes on it, and they were telling me several different ways, and I'm going, whoa, guys, slow down, because guys, I'm tell, telling you, they give me little pictures, they'll, um, I'll see words in my head. I mean, they just, they'll just, they'll give me clips of movies. They'll be saying, you can do it this. And I actually had two of them come forward, it felt like, and they were like, you can do it this way and this way. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's just too much. <laughs> so we're going to stick with the basic right now. 
if y'all like the, like my readings, like, subscribe, and share. Oh, 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 oh. They just told me something. Guys, this um, judgment card right here. Okay, this one right here. This judgment. They're saying, don't let nobody steal your ideas. So this may have to do with some of those people that are starting something new with a new idea for themselves. Okay, be careful who you tell. Keep it close to the vest, they say. Do not give other people your ideas because they may steal them from you or attempt to. Okay, so so this is a wheel of the year, guys. Um, I'm still getting messages, guys, but I've already gone through it all. So we're going to end it there. If y'all like this and would like to see some more of this, drop me a line in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. If you found this interesting, let me know. If you thought if you thought this idea really sucked of doing this, let me know in the comments. I really want to know feedback. I really, I mean, more people are hitting the thumbs up button, but I'm not getting no feedback. Guys, please give me some feedback if you can, because I would like to do more different layouts and more different kinds of things with the runes and the cards together to bring y'all more insight into what's going on because the runes give a message and then the cards give a message because you have a visual and then you have symbology with the, with the runes so guys i really hope y'all like this today is sunday and wow isn't that beautiful this is lana scott lighthouse guys be a light in the darkness better yet be somebody's hero or even your own hero find strength and wisdom every day do everything you can to, to make your life better than the day before. Every day, every day is a day to be a better person. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Lana Scott Lighthouse. Oh, gee, I got to quit being repetitive, don't I? <laughs> the ability to laugh at oneself. Ciao.